Tip number one, identify the goal and type of event. It is of paramount importance that we determine the objective of our event and its type, whether it's a conference style event that is heavy in content or a virtual expo, which is merely a marketplace where you're bringing the buyers and sellers together, or is it a matchmaking speed networking type of event, or is it a closed door forum uh, where you need interactive discussions to take place? It is important to identify what's the goal, because if you don't do this at the very start of the process, I think what's going to happen is you're going to make a lot of wrong decisions um, uh, on the way. And so you want to try and avoid that by first identifying the goal and then the type of event. Tip number two, know your game. I, I think what's happening is a lot of people are either, you know, um, launching virtual events because maybe they had an in-person event and now uh, the window to, you know, uh, having an in-person event is kind, kind of slimming down. That's why they are launching virtual events to kind of keep that revenue in the same budget here. Or they're probably launching virtual events because they're seeing that everyone else is doing it and so they don't want to be left behind. But what we're trying to avoid here is don't do that. Do launch a virtual event if you think you have a solution to the problem of your, of your audience. You got to first identify what problem they are and then try to solve that by launching a virtual event. If you do that, I think you're going down the right path and the right road. So what do I mean by know your game? Knowing your game is that make sure you and your team know the virtual platform in its entirety, you know, you know its functionality, you know it all, you know how to troubleshoot. If you don't know that, I think again, you're setting yourself up for failure. And remember, it's it's okay to not know it all. And if you don't have the time uh, to kind of know it all or the technical expertise to do it, it's fine. You know, hire the uh, the help of a professional virtual event producer who can help you in this um, journey. Tip number three: research and train. I just cannot stress on how important it is to invest your time in research you know that's going to be your best investment decision i think uh, what's happening is that you know today we're all you know researching and searching the net for a lot of things and uh, it's important to do that even in the events industry uh, there are a lot of people out there that have a wealth of knowledge and they're more than willing to share it. So, you know, research, because the more you research, the more you're going to learn and the more you're going to be able to gain knowledge. And now that you've gained knowledge, it's important to train, you know, train yourself and train others, train all the stakeholders of your event, whether they are speakers, attendees, sponsors, exhibitors, train them all. And, you know, don't make any assumptions. Don't think, you know, they'll figure it out or they know it. You know, it's important to understand that it is our responsibility to make sure that we train them. And how do we train them? Break it down for them, you know, train them like you would be teaching your grandmother, because if you can do that, then, you know, it's half the battle won. Tip number four, choose the right virtual event platform based on needs and demographics. There are so many, you know, tech geeks out there that are, you know, developing software for so virtual event platforms literally by the second, you know, they're making upgrades and, you know, they're trying to meet the needs of clients, uh, you know, and this is a growing need of clients, you know, today where we want to give our audience something much better and bigger and go out with a bang. And so, you know, these guys are really investing their time and, you know, putting out great virtual event platforms. What is important for us as event planners and producers is to choose the right one that is suited to the needs of our audience, you know, and it's important to identify the demographics, you know, it's quite different from, you know, um, say, you know, college students that are going and attending a virtual education exhibition uh, versus, you know, a slightly older generation. Each of them have different needs, have different grasping parts of technology and also have different likings. So, you know, um, does your audience want a very fancy platform or well, they want something simple, you know, because there are two things, you know, uh, either they're going to be wowed by the platform and be like, you know what, I want to go and explore, or they're going to be like, well, you know, it's too much for me to figure out. And so, you know, I'm out. And so you're going to lose your audience and so make sure you're choosing the right virtual event platform based on needs and demographics. Tip number five, be ready for tech issues. I'm going to tell you that, you know, uh, virtual events is a different ball game. You know, it's based on technology, it's based on internet. And sometimes these things are beyond our control, but what's in our control is to be ready 
to handle these challenges that you're going to face. You know, uh, probably a speaker is, you know, has lost internet connection at his place. What's your backup plan? You know, uh, if you have audiences that don't understand the technology, despite all the training and tutorial uh, videos that you've sent them, be ready to handle those challenges because, you know, it's going to happen. As much as we want successful events, these things happen. And, you know, as event professionals, I think we are those trendsetters and we're always there to, you know, kind of, we're on our toes, ready to problem solve. Even in, at an in-person event, you know, we do the same thing. You know, you ask us, oh, you know what? You know, I have some marks on my carpet. You know, my, my, the bulb isn't working. You know, there's some problem in my stand. Uh, you know, event planners know exactly where to guide people and let them know where they need to. It's the same in virtual events. You know, you have to be ready to troubleshoot. Keep someone ready to be on online live chat, you know, because you need someone who's tech savvy, who understands the technology and can solve the problem of your audiences in real time. Because today we're all looking for instant solutions. So I think, you know, uh, it's important to make sure that you're ready uh, for tech issues and tech challenges, because, you know, challenges is something that's going to push us and push us to the better.